Why does the moon change shape? This is wrong. The reason we can see the moon in our sky is because the light from the sun is reflecting off the moon to the earth, like this. The most important thing to know about the moon is that it doesn't really change shape. It only appears to because, as the moon rotates around the earth, its angle to the sun changes, making the part that is lit up appear bigger, or smaller. Every different shape the moon makes is called a phase of the moon. Each phase has its own special name. The most important phases are the new moon and the full moon. When the moon is between the sun and the earth, we can't see it because the light from the sun is reflecting off the side of the moon that isn't facing the earth. We call this a new moon. When the moon is behind the sun and the earth, it is called a full moon because the light from the sun is hitting the moon directly. Waxing. When the moon orbits the earth and it goes from a new moon to a full moon, it's called a waxing moon. Waxing means slowly getting bigger. Waning. When the moon orbits the earth and it goes in a full moon to a new moon, it's called waning. Waning means slowly getting smaller. This is a waxing crescent, and this is a waning crescent. A crescent appears after a new moon and right before it. Next comes a first quarter moon. The reason it is called a first quarter moon is because it is a quarter of the way through the moon cycle. The first quarter is waxing. This is a gibbous moon. The waxing gibbous comes before the full moon, and the waning gibbous comes right after it. The waning stage of a first quarter moon is a third quarter moon. The reason it's called a third quarter moon is because at this stage, the moon is three quarters of the way through its cycle. This is what a proper moon diagram is supposed to look like. Now it's time for a little quiz. What phase is this? It's a waning gibbous. If you got it wrong, I'm sorry. Thanks for watching.